Hello, this is Eric with Eric's Fly Shop, and I'll be tying the Brendel chute. It's a parachute pattern. This is a size 12. And we'll start by wrapping a thread base on the hook. Next, we'll clip some deer hair for the tail and all the tips are different lengths so first I'm going to get rid of all that under fur and then I'm going to place the hair into a, a stacker now they'll all be the same length and I like to measure that tail to be the length of the shank. Go ahead and tie that in. I'll clip off that extra. Next will be some calf tail. I'm going to advance the thread to about the two-thirds mark. So I'm going to got some calf tail here that I clipped off. I'm going to again get rid of all that short stuff underneath and then I'm going to place it in a hair stacker if your calf tail is straight enough you will be able to stack it and since the tail was facing that way that's how I took the hair out. But the wing, being a parachute, I'm going to tie facing forward. So I'm going to remove the hair this way. Now I don't have to switch it around in my fingers. I'm going to measure that the shank length. Tie that in. And I'm going to cut off this extra kind of at a taper. and tie that down. That'll make a nice smooth body. Now I'm going to try to stand that wing up. I'm going to wrap once, a couple wraps of thread, pull, wrap a whole bunch in front. That'll help to stand up that wing. A couple more wraps. And then I like to wrap around the hook. That helps to anchor it in place. And then I'm going to make lots and lots of wraps that'll give me a good base when I wrap the hackle now I like to go ahead and tie in the hackle kind of angling up now I'm going to do the body we'll have to take the thread all the way back to the tail And now I'm going to take some dubbing, which is a mixture of hare's ear, olive rabbit, and orange rabbit, and some antron. Spread that out on the thread and twist it tightly. Now I'll go ahead and wrap that body forward. And always leave a little bit of space right behind the eye. Now we'll go ahead and wrap the hackle around that parachute post. And this is kind of the hardest part is holding all that hackle back while you tie off. And we'll go ahead and Clip that close, and next we'll do the whip finish. Again, you got to pull all that hackle back, make your whip finish. We'll cut the thread, and now we'll put 
a drop of head cement right on the head. And then I also, for parachute patterns, I like to take another drop and put it right on the base where that hackle meets the post. And there's the completed brendel chute.